Here are some Java, Maven and Gradle improvements of the Eclipse IDE 2019-06. Improvements that have been added since the last release in March three months ago. The Eclipse 2019-06 IDE has built-in Java 12 support. When creating a new Java project, you can select the JRE to use from a list that goes up to Java 12 now. But for now, let's start with Java 11 and switch to Java 12 later. In the new module info dialog, there is a new checkbox to create comments or not. There is also a handy link that leads to the corresponding project settings. Here you can change the comments. With the checkbox at the bottom, you can set the default of the comment checkbox in the dialogs to create elements. Also, the new Java package dialog now has the comment checkbox. In Java 12, the switch statement has been improved. This new Java language feature is a so-called preview feature. Part of this improvement is that a comma-separated list of labels can be used after case. But in Java 11, this is a compile error. Quickfix Control 1 offers two solutions. Split case labels produces valid Java 11 code. Alternatively, Change Project Compliance and JRE to 12 changes the project settings instead of the code. But this does not fix the compile error yet. In addition, the preview features have to be enabled. Either in the Project Compiler properties, enable the preview features manually, or simply use the Quick Fix Enable Preview Features on Project properties for that. There is also a new Quick Fix to change the problem severity of preview feature uses. In the Java 12 preview features, Lambda-like switch expressions can also be used instead of switch statements, which is easier to read without the breaks, isn't it? Because switch expressions are expressions, they can be used, for instance, as return values. The improved switch is the only new Java language feature of Java 12. Of course, there is some new stuff in the Java 12 JRE system library. For example, the files mismatch, or the string indent method, to name just two. The integrated Maven support also correctly handles the enablement of the Java 12 preview functions. When the project is converted to a Maven project, the Enable Preview compiler argument is added in the POM file. In the POM editor, removing the Enable Preview compiler argument and in the right-click menu choosing the new menu item Maven Update Project disables the preview features. By the way, the embedded Maven has been upgraded to 3.6. There are a number of smaller improvements in the Java tooling. For example, there is a new quick fix to open the required projects. A new quick fix to change the visibility of the constructor of a service provider to public. Or for a service provider without a default constructor, a new quick fix to create it. Up to now, the module dependencies have to be customized in the Java Build Path dialog in the tab libraries by editing the isModular node. This becomes easier in the new Module Dependencies tab. For example, to add an export of a package, as you can see here.
The Show Java Platform Module System Options button shows the command line arguments. The edited modules are marked, which makes changes easy to find. In the Encapsulate field dialog, there are now checkboxes for both Getter and Setter, so you don't have to always create both of them. In JavaDoc, the Content Assist provides also JavaDoc tags that have existed since Java 8, 9 and 10. For example, API node, which will be shown in the JavaDoc as a separate section. There are also module info specific Java tags, like for example, provides or uses to document services. When debugging a Java application, a Control Alt click into the annotation ruler does a run to line. In the Java Editor Code Mining Preferences, there is a new option to show method parameter names. If enabled, the parameter names are shown for methods with more than one parameter. and if the parameter name differs from the used variable name. Implementations are now shown for methods too. If the code mining only shows one reference or implementation, you can use control click to jump directly to it. The Eclipse Gradle plugin now supports synchronization tasks and auto build tasks. Synchronization tasks are executed on refreshing the Gradle project. And auto build tasks are also executed when a file is changed, assuming build automatically is enabled. This can be used, for instance, to generate code based on other code. These were some of the Java Maven and Gradle improvements of the quarterly rolling release June 2019. The general and Git improvements are shown in a separate video. If you have skipped some versions, you might want to watch the previous videos too. Thank you for watching and happy coding!